everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 411. I'm Nate Moore. I talked to a group the other day that said, hey, Nate, we do a bunch of billing for a wide variety of practices. We want to make the reporting we send back to those practices better. We want the dashboards to look better. We want the reports to be more inclusive. We want them to have better information, but we want them to look better, too. What can you do to help us? When you're ready to make your reporting look better to your clients, I'd love to help you as well. What we're going to do today is play a little bit with the Visual Basic for Applications Editor. I want to show you some ways to work through the code here. So if you have thousands of lines of code or whatever, and there's there's a problem someplace and you got to be able to find it, let me show you some tools to do that. We're going to start with the basic one today. So when I start to run the macro over here, if I was to just run it, it'll run in just a second. And you won't be able to slow down and see what's happening. So what I'm doing is I did Alt F11. I'm going to come over to the macro editor, and we're just going to do the basic tool today from the debug menu we're going to step into. And what step into will do is Excel is going to highlight the code that it's about to execute. And so I can do debug and step into, debug and step into. Notice I just made, I'm about to make the, the font not bold. We're going to make it false. This time I'll do F8. So now that's going to go away and we're going to make the color. See, as soon as I hit F8 and ran that row, now it's the regular size, and I can just hit F8 all the way through my code. Now I'm building the table. Now we're going to do some things on page setup, and I can just do F8 and just run all the way through my code. So a line at a time, when you, it's not terribly long. It's not terribly complex. There's not a lot of loops where it goes back and forth and back and forth. You know, change this row, then change that row, then change this row, change three things on each row 100 times or whatever. I don't have anything that complicated in this code, so I can just hit F8 or I can debug and step into and that will take me where I want to go through my code a line at a time and now I'm done when I'm done with stepping through I can always hit this button that looks like stop it says reset and stop the F8 debug step into thing and see exactly where I am there are more tools and we're going to continue to play with things like step over and step out and run to cursor, how to move that yellow line around. There's a bunch of things we can do with it. But to start with, when you want to see what's going on in your code, you don't want it to run really fast. Alt F11, get to the Visual Basic Editor and from the debug menu step into and you can go a line at a time through your code and see where the problems are. That's what I want to show you today. Stay tuned. Next time we'll get a little more complicated debugging tools and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.